Hi, my name is Ivona and today I will show you how to add dandelion seeds to a photo. Welcome to my new tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to add those dandelion seeds to a photo. I have a photo here um, that was taken during my one of my workshops and she's looking up in the air like she's so maybe she's looking at something but there is nothing here. I thought it would be very very cool to add a few of those dandelion seeds in the air and to this photo and um, I prepared those dandelion seeds on my website. Just go to ivonapodlasinska.com and go to tutorials, change the language using the flag and go to tutorials and go to editing resources. You will find dandelion seeds here. I already have them on my desk so I'm just going to go to my finder and dandelions and use one of those. I will use number four right now. I'm just dragging and dropping that onto a photo. Uh, those are huge so you have to resize them and click OK here. Then change the blending mode from normal to screen and you have your dandelion seeds flying in the air. You can add more by adding a little more of those overlays or you can change the size by clicking Command or Control T, T for transformation on your keyboard and then you can change the size. And I'm going to show you one more thing you can add from my website. We can go to my website and apart from all those um, editing resources, all those overlays, you will find here my videos. I have single videos and you can go to single videos to basically check which um, which edits I recorded and you can go through all of them and by clicking on the image you will see the before and after photo. So I think it's very interesting just to go through them uh, just like that and if you're interested in purchasing I would highly recommend to go to collections of videos, these are the same videos just um, together in, in packs and you can buy like a pack of videos and if you want to see which videos were in that collection just click on this image and that will take you to the gallery of before and afters. So I have my um, Photoshop and Lightroom collection and uh, just Lightroom collection. I have also a winter collection here and this is I you know, working with other photographers to create a bigger set of, um, of videos. Um, let's go back to Photoshop here and I will add uh, one more layer, you can, um, one more overlay, you can find that on my website as well. Go to light effects and then you can choose one of those. I will use number four. Uh, you can resize that by dragging it and place that where you want. And again, you can change the blending mode from normal to screen. So we have that burst of light here. Click OK to get rid of the, those blue lines. Uh, I'm going to add a few more of those dandelion seeds. Again, resize this and change the blending mode to screen. If you don't like some of them, if you think that some of them are great but some of them are not, you can use the layer mask on this layer. Just click this little box and then choose a brush. Um, I hi highly recommend uh, my video on YouTube which will tell you what kind of settings I use for brushes and the video is called difference between opacity and flow in Photoshop. I will try to link it down at the end of the video. 
by using the brush, make sure that it, black is on top because you are um, painting on a white mask. And then you can remove some of the seeds that you don't like. For example, we can go back to this layer, use a layer mask and remove this seed, which is a little, or I can also change the opacity of, um, of a particular seed. Okay, let's group those layers and check the before and after. So this is where we started and this is where we are right now. We got this burst of light here and a few dandelion seeds added. Uh, once again, come to my website to find the overlays in tutorials, editing resources, and you can find my full editing videos um, here as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Bye.